Welcome to Airman Vision. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Air Force fitness requirements. Fitness requirements for the Air Force vary based on age and gender. I'm gonna be sharing specifics of every category in this video, but to make it easier on you guys so you don't have to go through all the parts that don't apply to you, I've made chapters on this video so you can find the specific category that fits you. But before you click on that chapter, I'm gonna be talking about some basic information about the Air Force PT test and how scoring works. This is going to apply to everyone. And once I'm done with that, I'll let you know when you can click on the chapter to find your specific requirements. One of the biggest tips I have heard from people is to prepare for the PT test before you get to basic training. A lot of people will show up at basic training, they haven't prepared, and it just makes their time at BMT a whole lot harder on themselves than it needs to be. So if you guys are looking to join the Air Force or maybe you're in depth, we have a BMT fitness prep guide on airmanvision.com. The link is in the description below. I personally have been doing the BMT fitness prep guide the past few weeks as I am getting ready to go to basic training and I finally got my ship day. I leave in a little over a month and I'm so excited and I'm really glad that I have been doing the fitness prep guide before because I have not been working out prior to starting the fitness prep. So if you guys are someone like me, you haven't been working out or running, this prep guide is perfect for you. Or maybe you're someone who has been working out a little bit consistently and you just wanna get on track with improving your PT. The link is in the description for you guys to check it out and get prepared before going to BMT. So let's talk about passing requirements for the Air Force PT test. The Air Force PT test is made up of three parts, a mile and a half run, push-ups, and sit-ups. The PT test as a whole is 100 points. You have to meet the minimum requirement in each category and get an overall score of 75 just to pass. Now the Air Force actually used to require a waist measurement as a part of the Air Force PT test, but it has recently been removed. It is still going to be a requirement for the Air Force, but it's not going to contribute to your score of the PT test. So like I said, you have to get a minimum of 75 just to pass your PT test. But of course, the better you do in each section, the higher you can score on your PT test. Now the Air Force PT test requirements are the same for active duty, guard, and reserve. But when you are in active duty operational Air Force, you're gonna take a PT test every six months. I'm not sure if this schedule is the same for guard and reserve. So if anybody is watching this that is in operational Air Force Guard or Reserve, feel free to comment on this video to let everybody know so we can get that information correct. So active duty at least you're going to take a PT test every six months. But if you score over a 90, you get rewarded by only having to take your PT test once a year. So this is the new Air Force PT test score sheet. I'm using this one as an example right now, just so I can break it down, but we're going to get to all the specifics in just a minute. So in the first section, we have cardio respiratory endurance. This is going to be your run. And in the second section, we have muscle fitness, and this is going to be your push-ups and your sit-ups. At the bottom of each section, you will see a number that has an asterisk beside it. And this means that this is the absolute minimum score that you can get in this section to pass that category. You may also hear about people talking about maxing out their PT test. And basically what this means is after you hit a certain number, you can't get any more points. So in this example, you see that 67 or more push-ups get you 20 points. So you can't get more than 20 points. So there's no reason to use more energy and do 68 or more push-ups when your PT test score is going to be the exact same. So maxing out a section in your PT test just means getting the highest score possible. Do not shoot to hit only the minimum score. If you only get minimum scores all across the board, you will not have enough points to get a 75 on your PT test. So my tip would be strive for a 90. Do a practice PT test, see what your baseline is, and then you know what numbers you need to set as your goal. I have improved tremendously on my PT test since doing the BMT fitness prep guide. So let's use the numbers from my last PT test to give you guys an example. So I ran my mile and a half in 14 minutes and 33 seconds. I did 25 push-ups and 54 sit-ups. Now looking at this page, it looks like I'm going against the advice I gave you guys just a little bit ago, which is not going over the max if you don't need to, but they just recently updated the Air Force PT test and my max used to be 54, but it has since gone down to 50. So we can see that the runtime gives me 54 points. My push-ups gives me 14.4 points 
and my sit-ups, I hit the max at 20 points. So I got a total of 88.4. So I'm already passing my PT test, but I wanna hit a 90. I already maxed out my sit-ups, so I just need to make some improvements on my runtime and my push-ups to get above that 90. So again, we wanna strive for that 90 because if we get that, then we only have to do our PT test once a year and we're only helping ourselves out. The next reason is if you're striving for those numbers and you take your PT test and you just happen to miss them, you are still passing your PT test and you don't have to worry about being closer to the bottom of those sections because you're already striving for higher than what the minimums are. The Air Force PT test requirements are broken down by gender and also by five year age increments. So now you can click on the chapter that applies to you and you can also download the PDF that applies to you on airmanvision.com. This section is the Air Force PT test requirements for males under the age of 25. We are just gonna start out with the bare minimum numbers that you need to hit just to pass each section. You have to run your mile and a half faster than 15 minutes and 50 seconds. You have to do 30 push-ups and 39 sit-ups. To max out your PT test, you have to run your mile and a half faster than nine minutes and 12 seconds. You have to do 67 push-ups and 58 sit-ups. This section is the Air Force PT test requirements for males ages 25 to 29. We're gonna start off with the bare minimum numbers that you need to hit just to pass each section. So you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than 16 minutes and 22 seconds. Then you're gonna have to do 27 push-ups and 38 sit-ups. Now to max out on your PT test, you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than nine minutes and 22 seconds. Then you're gonna have to do 52 push-ups and 56 sit-ups. This section is the Air Force PT test requirements for males ages 30 to 34. So we're just gonna start off with the bare minimum number that you need to hit just to pass each section. So you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than 16 minutes and 57 seconds. Then you're gonna have to do 24 push-ups ups and 36 sit-ups. Now to max out your PT test, you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than nine minutes and 34 seconds. And then you're gonna have to do 57 push-ups and 54 sit-ups. This section is the Air Force PT test requirements for males ages 35 to 39. We're gonna start off with the bare minimum numbers that you need to hit just to pass each section. So you're gonna have to run your mile and a half in less than 17 minutes and 33 seconds. And then you're gonna have to do 21 push-ups and 34 sit-ups. Now to max out your PT test, you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than nine minutes and 45 seconds. And then you're gonna have to do 51 push-ups and 52 sit-ups. This section is the Air Force PT test requirements for females under the age of 25. We're gonna start off with the bare minimum numbers that you need to hit in order to pass each section. So you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than 18 minutes and 56 seconds. And then you're gonna have to get 15 push-ups and 35 sit-ups. Now to max out your PT test, you're gonna have to run your mile and a half in less than 10 minutes and 23 seconds. And then you're gonna have to get 47 push-ups and 54 sit-ups. This section is the Air Force PT test requirements for females ages 25 to 29. We're just gonna start off with the bare minimum number that you have to hit in order to pass each section. So you're gonna have to run your mile and a half in less than 19 minutes and 43 seconds. And then you're gonna have to do 14 push-ups and 31 sit-ups. Now to max out your PT test, you're gonna have to run your mile and a half in less than 10 minutes and 37 seconds. And then you're gonna have to do 47 push-ups and 50 sit-ups. This section is the Air Force PT test requirements for females ages 30 to 34. We're just gonna start out with the bare minimum requirement that you have to meet in order to pass each section. So you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than 20 minutes and 33 seconds. And then you're gonna have to get 11 push-ups and 26 sit-ups. Now to max out your PT test, you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than 10 minutes and 51 seconds. And then you're gonna have to get 46 push-ups and 45 sit-ups. This section is the Air Force PT test requirement for females ages 35 to 39. We're just gonna start out with the bare minimum number that you have to hit in order to pass each section. So you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than 21 minutes and 28 seconds. And then you're gonna have to get 10 push-ups 
and 24 sit-ups. Now to max out your PT test, you're gonna have to run your mile and a half faster than 11 minutes and six seconds. And then you're gonna have to get 42 push-ups and 43 sit-ups. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. I wish you all the best of luck on your Air Force journey and on your PT test. Again, for those of you who wanna go ahead and start improving on your PT test, the BMT Fitness Prep Guide is over on airmanvision.com. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.